darn peacock has to show me up every time. <laughs> but I hope you're having a really great summer. And today we're going to be making this soap on the rope. Um, if you ever came across, you make some homemade soap, like I've made soap here with the lye. It takes money to buy all the oils, the fragrances, everything. Just to have a batch of soap that doesn't want to come out. It smells great, but it just doesn't look that great looking. Or maybe you have a favorite soap that you buy at the store that you really like, but just doesn't have a nice look to it that smells great it works or you're going camping and you need like a soap on the rope type of idea um, this is a great idea for that so today what we're going to make is this cute little holder that you can wrap around on your showers it's 100% cotton and that's what we're going to make today is the 100% cotton cover for it for the soap on the rope and I am going to use one of my soaps. Didn't turn out quite so well. It's my dandelion tangerine. Smells good. It's just not all that great looking. But it's been its eight weeks and it's cured. So it's good enough to use um, in the bathtub. So what we're going to need is your cotton yarn. Um, this one, the color is tangerine splash. It's the premier. It's 105 yards, and this is actually 85% cotton, 15% polyester. So it's not 100% cotton, but it's going to work great because it will wash and, and dry great with the cotton, but it'll hold together with a little bit of extra polyester. And this is a size 4, 105 yards, I think I may have already said that, and it's 60 grams, 2.1 ounces. And then your soap is a good idea if you've got it right now. If not, you can kind of guess the size that you're going to need. Then you're going to need scissors. And I'm using a size 5 crochet hook and one of your darning needles or yarn needles to weave in your ends. And also, this is a very versatile project. Um, I crocheted this going this way up, but I put it on this way and sewed it up. So you can make it as wide you want or a longer length. You can make your handle as long or as short as you want. Um, you don't even have to put a handle on it. I sewed this one up and so it's kind of a one time use only kind of bag, soap on a rope bag. But if you don't want to crochet it up, then you can use it over and over, just throw it in the washing machine and put a new bar in there. So again, today I'm going to make one going up this way go up vertical so you can tell the difference of the kind of the horizontal or the vertical looking ones okay so take your yarn and you're going to want to measure the longest part you kind of get get an idea plus it's going to have to go around about how long you're going to want to make your chain so make your chain chain it's going to be about oh, about four or five inches whoops slip knot I'm just gonna chain so I don't even have to count because every bar of soap is going to be a little different so I'm just gonna keep chaining Looks like I'm not quite there, but really close. Okay. Then you want to, when you're done with chaining the length that you need, add on two more. One, two. Then we're going to go back into the one, two, the third one, and do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into your loop, pick up your yarn, go through, pick up your yarn, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two more. And you want to do this all the way down your chain. So we're going to double crochet. Whoops, need more yarn.
this is so much easier when you're not filming. It's amazing how it just works so well. But you want to just go ahead and double crochet all the way down this chain. And when you're crocheting, make sure when you go clear across here through double crochets, you get into that very last chain. Once you double crochet all the way over, you're going to chain, I chain two, some people chain three, I do two. Turn your work, and you want to crochet not in this very first stitch here, but this stitch here. So we're going to double crochet all the way over. Like this. Now I'm coming to the end and I wanted to show you guys something so you don't forget this very last guy right here. I just call it the buddy system. If you look at your work and you think, kind of look at it like this, you think, oh, I'm done. You might end up skipping this last one. So I look at it that everybody needs a buddy. They've got a buddy, the first and the second row buddy buddy just all the way down that they match up and there's one line on top of each person or each stitch and this very end one right here you realize he doesn't have a buddy on the bottom we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen stitches but on the second row we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so therefore we need to make sure we put that very last stitch in there. That was our chain three from the previous row. So just go in and just make up another double crochet. So I bought this KitchenAid bowl to use in my mixer. But for some reason it became a holder for my yarn. It's actually been pretty slick. But this tells you how much I cook. When it's my night to cook, it's usually pizza time. But I hope you guys are still working on your length for your bar of soap. I got quite a ways to go, so keep working on it. So when you get to the top, I crocheted this whole length here. It's wrapping it around, and I want to make sure I crochet, again, the length down to here. So you're basically just taking whatever your measurement is here and timesing two. And then when we get done, we'll just wrap it around this way, but this will be all done. And then we'll make our chain for our handle. Oh, and also, um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click on that bell. It's just below and you'll be notified when I release my weekly videos. It will be on mostly crochet items and some craft items. Okay. Keep working on your on your project. Have any of you guys ever been to a girls camp? It's been or it's kind of a big thing in Utah. It doesn't matter what religion you are, it doesn't matter um, the organization you're in, clubs, 4-H, Girl Scouts. Girls camp's kind of a big thing. And if you've gone as a leader or one of the girls, you know that there's usually you go someplace there's not a shower facility. So that's what we got me thinking this summer about the soap on the rope is that you need something that you can take. You can take your soaps that you made that didn't work out or even if they did um, or you just regular bar of dial soap down at the store. So it's something you can hurry and quickly make up with the girls or as a girl on the way up or if you're sitting at the picnic tables and you need a craft to make along with your homemade shower that you got out in the wilderness you can also make one of these little sacks to put your soap in then you don't lose it it doesn't end up on the pine cones or on the ground somewhere like that but it looks like I'm gonna put one more in here. And let's see if it fits. So there's that. This one's got some of those dandelions on top, so it's kind of messy, but looks like I'm just about there. Maybe one more 
row. So one, two, and double crochet our way across. Now what's nice about crocheting and crocheting with cotton is that it's very forgiving. So if you make it a little too short, a little too big, a little too wide, a lot of times you can you can kind of manipulate it around and it will work for you. Or if you want to, you can always get it wet, lay it out and pin it to a board or somewhere and you can shape it to how you want. But since this was going to get wet anyways with the soap in it, I don't think that would normally be necessary unless you want to give it as a nice gift to begin with but let's see we are just about done here but nowadays maybe you know girls do more glamping for their uh, their summer trip out with the Girl Scouts or a church group I did in the early 80s. We had tents, made our own showers. Okay, so it looks like that is pretty, pretty close right there. So I'm going to take this in there. And this too is not scientific. This is just hurry and putting it together so you got something to hold your soap. So there's not going to be specific counts, especially depending on how many rows you did on how big your soap is. But I will just take this, put it in, take it, and just start doing a single crochet. Just try and get your ends close as you can and just go in and do... A single crochet all the way down just try and, and find a spot couple stitches together if you can single crochet so you might have depending on how you might want to just do 10 stitches down here you might want to do 20 you can try and do one in each space we did a chain three it's up to you just make your way down okay I'm to the end and you don't have to be right on the end but just close as that you can get it again this is just you're just putting single crochets down your edge then I don't like to cut and start all over so I just chain one turn and then just do a slip stitch all the way back Oops. that way it kind of double reinforces it and I don't have to cut the yarn and start all over again so we will just slip stitch this okay and now oh, that's a little tell from where we started so I'm just going to tuck him in and just do one more okay so since we're gonna leave this open at the top I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna chain 30 chains to make my rope part so there's one two three four oops five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then we are on the other side. So just again, try and find kind of the most kind of square end that you have here put it through two of them hook it together I usually do it with a slip stitch now we did a single crochet on this side so we're gonna do a single crochet on that side so again it's just kind of a, a 
punch and jab, just trying to find the best way. And we are just going to go single crochet. Whoops. All the way down. Well, I hope everybody out there is having a great summer. If you did anything fun or if you got some big plans or trips or been on a trip or going on a trip, please comment below. Let us be envy of what you guys, each other's done for the summer. Okay. Then, because it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to cut off our ends like this. Now I'm just going to turn mine inside out. Like that. And of course you probably want to go ahead and weave your ends in. I'm just leaving them for now just to show you how this goes. Then you take your soap and you can put him straight in there. <laughs> and then you can hang it up. And that way you can use it. You can bath, shower with it, hang it back up, and then it will just air dry. And that way you're ready for next time. And that way you don't have to worry about it, you know, falling on the ground, getting the pine cones all over it. You're just ready for the next time. So thanks for joining me and please give it a like on the button below, subscribe, comment below, um, and I'll be doing weekly tutorials. I should be uploading every Sunday. It'd be a crochet or a craft item. Thanks and have a fabulous rest of your summer.